Hello folks, it's Kane and welcome to Kane's Corner. We are playing more Mass Effect today. We've been to the council. We are carrying on with our discredit. Um, actually, I need to have a look at my journal. Discredit sound and thing. That's still not the journal, you idiot. It's still the fucking um, console, which I don't need. I've got three points, which I'm saving. That is fine. So journal, 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 missions... So I need to go talk to Balavon. I need to find Garrus. Okay, right. So Balavon was on the Presidium. I remember that. I don't remember if we went to actually see him, but I know that's where he is because, like I said, I've, I've played the shit out of this game. I fucking love it. It's one of my favourite games. Also, I need to just adjust my seat slightly. That's a bit better. Right. Now, Balavon is if my memory is correct is over at the back i also remember there's a load of shops over here so yeah basically today that's all i'm gonna do it's the whole you know discredit saren um get the two squad members that i need to get and finish off the citadel um, once that bit's done and you've become a spectre, I'm going to run around again because that should allow me to pick up a few side quests I'm missing, like that one there. That big jellyfish thing is a side quest, so I will be doing that. But you also need to be a spectre in order to properly resolve it, which is one of the reasons I haven't picked it up yet. So if by any chance you're playing this and you see that and you're like, why can't I solve this? It's it's because you need to be a spectre. You've got you need the extra charm and intimidate options. Uh, sorry, skill points. Which if I, oh god, I'm going to keep pressing tab to open max. I'm used to seven days. So as you can see, this is maxed. But you get more when you become a spectre. See, new skill ranks unlock when you become a spectre, and as you earn renegade points. So once I become a spectre, I think I get another three, which is why I'm saving my points because I can then max that out and go do that quest. Right. Is this just a storeroom or is it... Oh, no, here's Balavon. See, I knew I was in, in nearly the right area. Hello. One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Are you spying on me? I mean, he's not. He's an information broker. It's his job, but... I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barlavon. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Okay, I need information. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I mean, I'm blunt in real life as well, so hey, it, it suits me, doesn't it, playing this way? Uh, start talking. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation, so I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? Mm, there is I was no wondering catch. that. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. What a shock. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. Okay. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Anything else? That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous spectre in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. He was free, so... Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with C-Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Right. I'm going to run through these because, as I've said in the past, it's XP. Tell me more about your job. 
Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. Sounds good. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Is it legal? Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. A bit like offshore bank accounts then, isn't it? For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. So shady. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. I'm sure I won't. All right, Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Mm -mm. That's a good way to do it. All right, who is he? Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. If you think about it logically, that does make sense. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. Fair. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Also fair. Right, Citadel. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is, without a doubt, the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. Alright, tell me about the wards. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. And the Presidium? What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. 80% of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. Right. That's it. That's everything I need to know. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. See? Free XP. Right. So, there is someone I need to go speak with in CSEC, which will give me um, a potential ally. There's a shopkeeper. I just want to check something back here. I thought so. Give me that keeper. I still need to do those. I haven't done them yet. Right. Anyone else around? No, right. You. Have you got anything I could buy? Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Personal question? Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Sounds fair. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Okay. Show me your items. 
Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Um, I'm gonna try standard items because I'm looking for things like that. What's this? Hmm, I could do with a better tool. That is tempting. I can't buy the arm. I can't use it either. I, I need light, um, which obviously I can't afford. That is tempting, but I'll wait and see. Okay, and then I want to do that again. Show me your items. Skip, skip, skip. Standard items. Oh. Is that what I had picked last time? Yes, it is. I am just stupid. Right, try it again. Do it right Command. this time. Show me your items. Come on, Kane. Upgrades. Oh, That's. What I wanted, but also not. Okay, fine. I was hoping it might have like a medigel upgrade or a grenade upgrade or something. Uh, not a grenade. Uh, sorry, grenade capacity upgrade is what I meant. Not a grenade upgrade like the, the high explosive. Keeper. Keeper. Give me that keeper. Right. This, I think, goes to the consort. Which we don't need. Okay. Keeper. Give me that keeper. Yoink. Right, okay, so. What do I need to do? Journal. Garrus. Where is he? Speak to Harkin. So I've got to go to Cora's Dead in the wards. Right, okay. So let's get that done. So we want to go wards. Cora's Den. It's the only place we're allowed to go. Okay. No, a gentleman's club. Lovely. That's her. Oh. That was a terrible shot. Alright, now, is it? No, it's not that. There we go, right. Right, that's overheated. I think I got one though, so we're good. Right now, go around here. We can creep along here to get to this one. Shepherd, you walk weird. There we go. No shit, Sherlock. Of course they were. All right. Hello. Caden, you got something you want to say there, mate? I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the uh, fear. Uh huh. Yeah, we're not going to sit down. Oh, hello. I need to talk to you. Commander. What do you want? Faira sent me. I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and. There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. Right. I'm going to go for this. There is a reason. General, what kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Ah, shit, I can't do it yet. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I might need to I reload. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. I'm gonna try this. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! <laughs> You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Finally. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? 
There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why me? Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and... Shouting his secrets in public. Ah, uh, that'll do Take it. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Okay. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? You know where he is. His name is Zelta. Yeah. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know... You might make a good general yourself one day. Okay, so I didn't fuck it up, which is good. He's you imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. Shut up. Shut up, Caden. That's because you don't understand women, Caden. Right. So you need high power uh, paragon or renegade to do that, or you need to be a spectre and you know max out your charm or intimidate. Um I can't remember. I think you just skip some of the conversation options if it's high enough. And I got lucky and got exactly the outcome I wanted. There's a reason I wanted that outcome. It's for Mass Effect 3. So, I got that. That's good. I haven't fucked it up. Great. Now I can talk to this dickhead. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. I could kick your ass. Easily. The last down beside old Harkin. Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. There we go. You're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. Nice. Trying to hurt my feelings? You got to do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Where's Garrus? I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You got to tell me something first. The captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. How do you know this? You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread <laughs> One more chance. I'm just going to pick that. Tell me where Garrus is. Now. Okay, settle down. He went to speak to Dr. Michelle over in the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Right, I'm just going to leave this guy here. alone. I could talk to yeah, him for go, more XP, go. but he's a prick. So, no, thank you. Right, so I need to go to the wards, get Garrus, and I need to go to CSEC and get um, the Krogan. Right, I wonder if I can actually just go and get that now, because I'm near CSEC. I know that much. Oh no, so you go up, don't you? Should be up here. I can always get a little bit lost in the bowels of the Citadel. So you have to bear with me. Any keepers around while I'm while I'm here? Keeper? 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 Hello? There's one. Hello, keeper. I'll just do that. Okay, that's one less to do. I know for a fact I'm gonna end up running around looking for one. And being just like completely confused. It always happens. Come on. There we go. Right. Where the fuck am I? CSEC Academy is down there. That's where I want to go. There's a guy there. Officer Lang. Oh, keeper. Who are you? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah. I was on Mindwar during the Blitz. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. Okay. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. 
What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, C sec. Did you join Citadel security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know. Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. All right, Citadel? How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. All right, Spectres. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figured they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Uh, and Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Yeah, you're right. Go. Right. Okay. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. So it should be in here. Let's go. Is this an elevator? Yeah, it is. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Alright then. Thanks, Caden. Okay. For anyone who didn't know, by the way, in the original game, those scenes were put into disguised loading, which with modern games you don't need. There's the Krogan. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. Uh, we need to talk. We're trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. What goal? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den. A man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Tell me. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Big mistake. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. And that's what we need. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. I have to find her. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Deal. Time we paid Fist a visit. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. Right, and we'll go get Garrus. Come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Right, so you have to take Rex and I'll take Caden for now. It gives us a nice balance. Okay, right. Now. Oops, that's the wrong one. There should be. Yep, I thought so. There's a Citadel Rapid Transit, so we'll use that. Now, can I get to... I can go to the medical clinic. Fantastic. That saves me some time. Uh, it makes me very, very happy. And it is... Oh, Keeper. It is right here. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Hop 
Hostile spotted. Nice, level up. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. That was terrible shooting on my part. Right, where's the other one? Ah, oh, he's there. That was also terrible shooting on my part. Right, there should be... There we go. Right. Give me that. Replace my med gel. Hello. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. Take him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. What happened? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. All right, Fist has a... Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why'd you hate him? That's what I want to know. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Done. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Right, so then you take Garrus and Rex, and I got those the wrong way around, but you guys know what I mean. Right, clicky, clicky, right. Is there anything here that I can loot, take, whatever? There is not. Let's talk to the lady. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs. Maybe we can get some XP and some items or something. If you hadn't been there. Happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Fair enough. Got any supplies? Look at what you have for sale. I bet she's got a medical upgrade. Oh, she's got nice armor upgrades. And no, she does not have any um, medical upgrades. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. I mean, there's upgrades there that I could probably get, but right now I'm not too concerned. So, right, now we use this. We go over to here to the rapid transit. And we go wards. Cora's Den. Now we need to get ready to kick some fucking arse. That's the wrong way, idiot. It's this way. Come on. Come on, Herp and Dirt. Right, and then we just go. I'm on it. That's got one. That's got two. Right, there's an idiot over there. There's one there. I need to make sure I abuse the uh, mini map as much as possible. Will you really? I don't think you will, mate. I think you might be dead. Oh, there's a Krogan there. Oh, that'll hurt. Need to be very, very careful of that. Right. Um, not that. It's shift, isn't it? Right. Use... Overload. There we go. There we go. And there's another one down. Very good. And there's two in there. That's another one, Dawn. There we go. Excellent, right. I think we're good, Shepard. Okay, open the door. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Okay, you're making a mistake. I just killed fifty bodyguards to get in here. 
What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Good choice. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I mean, it works though. He's, he's not wrong. Right. Now I know there's shit to loot, so we'll grab this really fast. There we go. Grab all of that, thank you. And then we go into here. We hide. Go, go, go! Right, and then we want overload, sabotage. You use warp. Alright. Come on, stand up, dick, dipshit. You know what? There we go. Toys are down. Kill me, I surrender. Start talking. Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the shadow broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a Tell bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Okay. Good lad, Rex. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He deserved it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. Right, I realized something. I'm an idiot, so I need to do this. Yeah, you know, give me that. Take all, and then there should be. Where was it? Optical storage disk, which I've now got. Okay. I think that's everything. Uh, there was a quest to hand that disc in, and I forgot to pick it up on the way, so hopefully I'm okay. What I'm going to do, can I save? Yes. Because I am playing on Insane, so high chance of death and then needing to restart. Alright, now if I do this... Take cover! Hostile contact! That was terrible shooting, but hey. Now we move forwards and duck. Quack. There we go. Get rid of him. And there should only be that idiot there. Now we just move back a bit, let the gun cool down. There's another one gone. This fight, I remember, used to be like really hard when you didn't know what the hell you were doing, and now it's just like piss easy. Right. Use the. Thank you. Right, there we go. Healed up. Got more Medigel. Clear. Swap to my sniper again. Thank you, mouse wheel. There we go. The kitten has found something to beat up on the cooker, and I have absolutely no idea what. Is it? It's up here. I remember. It's up here. And you go over here, and it's right there. See, assassin. Assassin! Bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Okay, and now we do killy killy. Right. Overload sabotage.
Well, then get it into cover, you dickhead. Always carry a backup weapon, folks. Right. That's you gone. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Right, you okay? Uh, I took care of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? Someone who saved your life. I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Okay, there we go. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up and I'll tell you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if he hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. Again, XP. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. And um, what about Saren? What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. That true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's not far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Well, they believe it. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. 
What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Okay, join us. I'll take all the help I can get. We might be a renegade, we're Thanks. not stupid. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, um, I'll take Tali with me, and I'll take Garrus, because he'll want to see, you know, the end of his, essentially, investigation. But Tali had the evidence, so it makes sense to take her. Right. Now we can dive in here and hand in that quest about the about Zelton and the made up stuff. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I, I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Do it. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Whatever. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm I mean, sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. I mean, he's not wrong. I did, I did get some money out of it. Not a lot, but I did. But mostly, I'm in it for the XP. I'm just an XP whore. All right, then we should be able to go out here, down here, and we should have fast travel. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Yeah. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What is it? A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. That's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the, the council bit done, because that means I should then become a spectre. Yes, that's spoilers, but I mean, you, you guys knew it was going to happen, right? No, not wards. Um, no, not wards. Obsidian. Citadel Tower, that's it. I got it right the first time. Uh, I mean, you guys should have guessed that was going to happen anyway. But then, like I said, that unlocks more um, thingy options. Uh, intimidate options, which I'm, I want. I want to make sure I'm maxed out. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? 
Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. And that's why they're following him. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? It's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. He's right. The Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Same old story. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Wait, hold us back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Get shot down, fuckface. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Right. I'm going to go for the middle one, rather than abuse them. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Vegas. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Specs of talent unlocked. Lovely. There we go. Right, now we can go to this, go to this, and we can max out that. And we will... Uh, I've got more in this. Great. I've got six. So one, two, three. One, two. 
three. There we go. And then I can max those out next level. Which actually isn't that far off. And then I can start working on this. Because Unity is really, really, really good. Because it resurrects your dumbass dead friends. Um, okay. So this is now maxed out. That is excellent. Okay. So now we are a Spectre. There's a bit more we need to do around the Citadel. But that is where we're going to leave this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do the usual. Like, subscribe, comment, bell. And hopefully... I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.